We often need to create new blank shapefiles and through the Windows catalog tool we can do that. So I'll navigate to the directory into which I want to create a shapefile. Right click on the target folder and select the new shapefile option. And I give it a name. I have to identify the feature type and the coordinate system. And there are a few other things which I usually leave alone like the Z units and those sorts of things. So here we're going to make a new point shape file and we're going to specify the projection coordinates and this is similar to when we're reprojecting which we'll do which we've done before and which we'll do more of again you navigate through a same set of menus to your indicated coordinate system in this case the UTM zone 15 north projections and there it shows up in my directory now we're also going to be digitizing line and polygon files so again I'll add a new shape file within our catalog giving it a name that makes sense in this case my new lines and making sure I specify the feature type as polylines now there are different ways to specify the coordinate system I can use this search tool at the top and if I type in a fragment of the name in this case UTM it reduces the set it shows to me so it's a little bit easier to find my specific coordinate system I can go down to a reduced list and again find my UTM zone 15 north coordinates in the NAD83 version and apply that. So finally I want to create a polygon feature set, a feature data set, a polygon shapefile for features and I'll name it again my polygon file something like that. Make sure I get the proper type again polygon and then I can also import my coordinate system from an existing data set. So if I know my houses or docks or the ones I just created have my UTM zone coordinate system, I can just click on that little globe and go specify them and it copies that coordinate system over. And now I have three new data sets empty and ready to be digitized into.